Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look I have going on right now. I want to do a fun, like bold holiday type look, whether it's for New Year's, whatever you want it to be. I wanted to do just a fun, bold holiday look. So I'm on my way out right now, but I wanted to film this really quickly because I already had to do my makeup for the event. So might as well turn it holiday-ish and film it. <laughs> just got a haircut today too, so I'm liking it. <laughs> Glitter piece. Honestly, it's so crazy that we're already in December. It's insane. November flew by so fast. So happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy any holiday you guys celebrate during the December months. Um, I love you guys so much. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Andy MUA and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. But yeah, other than that, let's go and get into this full face holiday Really pretty purpley grungy glam look. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get started on today's video, guys. I have an idea in my head what I want to do with this look today. So let's just pray that it turns out is what we hope. Make it forever smoothing primer on the T-zone because I have large porous pores. You guys know this. Like little craters of death. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Disgusting. I haven't used it in so long. Okay, well, that's so gross. I'm gonna put that on the rest of the face. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, have you guys seen Moana? I've seen it three fucking times. Did I want to see it three times? No. I'm not saying I wanted to see it three times, but I went on three different occasions. I went, the first one I went on was a date, and it was really fun. He was a cool guy. Um, he lives in San Diego, so I don't think anything. It's gonna come from it, but he's really, really cool. And second time I went with my mom and my dad because <laughs> my mom really wanted to see it. And so did my dad. He really wanted to see it too, which I loved that he wanted to see that. And then the third time I went with my mom, my aunt, my grandma, my aunt's family. It was basically a party for uh, the second time we went. <laughs> it was really, really funny. It's actually perfect that I'm doing my makeup on camera right now because I have to go to an event after this. For the face, I'm doing my go-to event glam, basically is what I'm doing, guys. You guys know I did a video on this recently. Not recently, but I did a video on this already. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave it linked down below if you guys are interested in that. If not, all good, but that's what I'm doing. I should have shaved more of my, my mustache, but I'm sick. Let me fucking live my life. Honestly though, for real, Moana was amazing. It's such a cool story. I love it so much. And aesthetically, the movie is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful movie. It's so insane. Like, I don't know how the fuck they make cartoons look that good. Like, please explain to me, Disney, how that's possible. Also, I don't want to ruin it or anything, but I love the I love the fact that in this movie, it's not like about love. It's not about finding a man or finding your Prince Charming. It's about like saving your family. You know, I really like that. I like that Disney made a princess that isn't about finding Prince Charming. It's about finding out who you are as a person and saving your family's life or whatever it is. I'm not going to spoil the story or anything, but I just thought it was really, really cool and I enjoyed it so much. And I love seeing strong female leads and and strong female characters. I love it. It's like when I was little, you know how it is? Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Growing up gay, I would always like want to play with the girl characters, like the strong girl characters instead of the boy characters. Because they were just so much more fun to me. For some reason, for some odd reason, I would just relate to the girl characters a lot more. And I was like, why can't I wear a bra on a corset? Fuck the fucking cape, man. But my mom cried both times we saw it. I was like, mother, you are seriously PMSing right now? And she was. <laughs> she was actually PMSing. She's like, I'm PMSing, so don't fuck with me. And I'm like, noted. And then I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier powder and use that all over the rest of the face. I'm gonna put that on the T-zone with this little powder puff. Studio Fix powder, back down the neck. So I just recently got this super cool package from Unicorn. Lashes. I believe it's called unicorn lashes and they have the unicorn brushes. They literally look like a unicorn horn and their brushes They look like this and I thought they were so fucking cool So I decided that I wanted to use a couple of them in today's video. Look at this freaking thing. That is so cool It's so cute and look at they're like multicolored mermaid fantastic. I don't know if you guys want to see a full-blown um, Review on them. Let me know and I can definitely film one for you guys But I'm just gonna be using this big powder fluffy brush for some bronzer Hmm it's because it's tapered kind of funny. Today is, let's say Thursday. I go out of town tomorrow. I fly to San Francisco because I'm doing a meet and greet with Macy's in San Francisco in Union Square, which I'm so excited to be doing. The fact that I'm doing it with Macy's, it's like a, I don't know, Macy's, it just like seems like really, really cool, you know? It's like a big brand. Macy's is like Macy's. San Francisco is another one of my favorite places to do meet and greets because you guys are so 
so fucking sweet there like i cannot even begin to explain how nice you guys are like i don't know what it is about people in san francisco they're just so sweet and so caring and just so calm and nice and i just love that but san francisco is one of the places that i really remember and so and same with texas texas i remember a lot too because there's so much love there and it's always so crazy in texas <laughs> everything's bigger in texas they say <laughs> Y9, Kevin Kwan. So after that, on Monday is the day, I'm also in San Francisco, and that's the day I get to meet the winner of the benefit sweepstakes that me and Patrick did. We are flying out to San Francisco to meet the winner to just kind of spend the day with us, you know? I'm really, really excited that Benefit does these kind of things. It's really cool, it's very intimate, which I love. Of course I love meet and greets and those are so much fun, but if I can sit back and like actually chit chat and talk with you guys, that's just so much more like, up my alley i love to just sit back relax i don't know because meet and greets get really stressful because i want to meet as many of you guys as, as i can but there's a time limit on these things always i get stressed i'm like oh my god no but like they waited in line i want to meet them you guys know like i'm i want to meet you guys so bad so the cool thing about being doing like an intimate one-on-one -on -one, it's just like i can spend the whole day with you guys and just relax and shop and have fun and sightsee we can just do whatever the fuck we want which is why i am really really excited to be doing this with benefit and i know patrick's really excited about it too so it's gonna be a fun day on Monday. Heartthrob, makeup geek, little, little, little blushy brush. This is a beautiful blush, holy fuck. Dude, I'm like running out of this powder. If they just made this powder, this one thing, and this whole thing, I'd be so golden. I'd be golden. I'd be bronze. No, I'm just kidding. I'd be golden. I'm gonna take the white number one from Burberry. White number one Burberry. Because I'm going to be doing more of a silvery lid look. I've decided I wanna do silver with like a maroon crease. I think it sounds super cool on a little Morphe Y14. And so I figured if I was doing more of like a silvery look, I want to do more of an icy highlight, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna dust that on. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do the brows off of camera real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, great. So I went ahead and finished my brows off of camera and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eye look. I primed the eyes off of camera and I'm thinking I'm gonna grab the Natasha Denona Star Palette because Everyone's been raving about this little bitch. And I'm gonna take a couple of the maroons from this palette and then use a silver from something else. But I'm gonna use these first. I'm gonna take this really pretty middle shade right here. Oh, right there. On a little Morphe Y16 brush. Just go right in. It's like a really pretty soft lilac pink shade. And I feel like because we're gonna be going in with maroons, I feel like that's gonna be a really good transition shade to have down first. Very soft, very just pretty petal, like soft pink in the crease. So now I'm gonna go in with this really pretty plum burgundy on a Morphe M433, and I'm actually gonna mix it with this warmer burgundy I decided right now, in this exact moment I decided. I'm gonna put that into the crease of my eye. Obviously, what other crease do I have other than my fucking ass crack? Oh, that's so beautiful, fuck me. I'm gonna take that into the crease. I'm gonna take it all the way in to the inner part of my eye right above my crease right there as you can see and then everything below that will be the silver these natasha shadows blend out very well the mattes blend very 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 nicely wow it's like i didn't have to really do anything they just did it by itself and once you have the desired plumness to your eye this is what i see and this is what i like right now I'm just blending a little bit and now i want to go in with the metal morphosis shot i want to go in with that silver that silver is calling my name how do I open this? Little scissors. Please, God, I don't, I don't have time for this. Please, I don't want sequin everywhere. Please. <gasps> I found you. Okay, guys. So what I decided to do first, I'm gonna take that silver cream base, and that's gonna go onto my lid, as well as kind of carve out where I want to put the silver shadow and where I want to keep the purple showing. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna take a Morphe E32, and I'm gonna use this cream. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of carve out where I want the silver. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Holy crap. I love that. And that's just with the cream base. Imagine with the freaking thing on top. Okay, do the other side real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the corresponding shadow, which is this intense mirrored silver. I'm very, very excited to put this on. At first, I'm just gonna pat it on with my finger just to go over the cream that is so fucking sick let's go ahead and just toss it in the inner corner as well we're already going in i'm a little tin man 
Living in a tin world, and it's so hard to get by. I'm gonna do a lightweight blend. I like the like harshness of the silver against this like really pretty burgundy matte shade, but I want to keep it kind of blended, not too, too harsh. Dust away any fallout if you have any, just in case from the silver. Very, very pigmented, so it's, I knew that there would be some kind of fallout for sure. So let's go ahead and highlight the brow bone. I'm gonna take the same highlighter I use on the face for the brow bone, right at the top point of my brow. You know, this is our more bold look, so we're gonna fucking take it there. Monster, do it. Take a little blending brush. This is a Morphe E36. Oh my god, I'm so good. So now I'm gonna go and take those same maroon shades from the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm gonna blend that underneath the lash line and blend out that black shade to make it nice and smoky, but still very, very maroon and hella prairie, okay? So go and smoke that lower lash line out. And you should have something like this. Okay, great, so I went ahead and I finished the lower lash line on both eyes off of camera, as well as put mascara on and do my eyeliner off of camera. So this is what it looks like. I want to do a nice bold wing. So now we're gonna put some lashes on. These are also from Unicorn Lashes. Look how cute this packaging is for lashes. So cute, this is in the style Bambi. Hopefully, these aren't too small for my eyes. So go ahead and put some lash glue on. I'm just taking the House of Lashes lash glue. This is the lash glue I always use. It works fantastically. My lashes never have problems. The glue, though, is a bitch to take off. <laughs> okay, so the first time I'm wearing this pair, please work on me. Just, please, just, please work with me here. Come on. They're pretty. They're actually very, very pretty. They're very natural on me, I suppose, I feel. I feel like any lash that's not Bella New Bound some lashes are gonna look natural on me, but this lash is beautiful, and I approve. As soon as the lashes go on, I'm like, instant bitch, like. One time, she met John Stamos on a plane, and he told her she was pretty. One time, she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Cool, so now we have the lashes on, we are done with the eyes. Now we just have to finish off with the lippy. I just don't know what lip to do, fuck. Okay guys, so I'm thinking Anastasia Heathers. I've been using Anastasia liquid lipsticks a lot recently, okay. I'm gonna use the lip pencil in the shade Grunge just to kind of map out. It's not gonna be an exact color for it or anything. I'm just gonna map out lightly. This looks so beautiful as it is, honestly, it really does. So you can keep it like this, it looks fantastic just with the lip liner, I think it looks great. Or you can add the Heathers on top. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'll go ahead and add Heathers by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love how this is looking mixed. And that is it, you guys. That's it for the entire video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I had so much fun filming this holiday fun glam for you guys. 2017 is literally right around the corner. Crazy, I'm getting hair surgery soon on the 19th. Will this be up before then? Who knows? But yeah, other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. Everything I talked about in today's video will be linked down below as it always is, as well as all my social media links, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything will be linked down below. But yeah, other than that, I love you guys so much. Mwah. Happy holidays, bye. So, happy Thanksgiving. What the fuck? Is it working or is it not? <laughs> yes. If you're down, I'm down. <laughs> the little fluffies from this jacket are going on my nostrils. Fuck me. And then I'm gonna take the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. <sighs> Maybe I should really rub shit in. Damn. <gasps> What's my hair? Has that been there for this whole time? <gasps> like, freak me out. So yeah, any gays, any gays. What? God damn. God damn. Moana. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, the fluff from this fucking jacket is getting on my face and it's making me itch like.